the, to this class. Today we are going to look at another concept in physics under wave. Now what to this concept? We are going to look at the progressive wave equations and then the concept used to prove these equations. For instance, when you have a progressive wave with displacements y and moving it through a distance x, and then the equation can be given as y equal to a sine open bracket wt minus 5. Call this one equation 1. Y represents vertical displacement. A represents amplitude of the wave. W represents angular frequency. Yt represents time taking. And then this is phase angle. That is where Y represents displacement. A represents what? Amplitude. This value, uh, sign represents angular frequency. T represents time taking. And this phi represents phase angle. But recall that in simple harmonic motion, angular frequency is given as 2 pi f, where f represents frequency of the wave, while phase angle is given as 2 pi x over lambda. Now let's substitute the value that is in equation now. In equation one, we are going to substitute the value of omega angular frequency and phi. Therefore, the equation will turn to y equal to a sine open bracket 2 pi ft minus 2 pi x over lambda. Now look at this equation. There is common factors. The common factor here is 2 pi. Now factorize the equations. And then we have y now equal to a sine 2 pi open bracket ft minus x over lambda. Now recall that under the wave equations Recall that V is equal to lambda F, that is wavelength and frequency. Now make F the subject of the equations. Therefore, we have F equal to V over lambda. Now go back to this equation, remove this F and substitute this value there. Therefore, we have Y equal to A sine 2 pi vt over lambda minus x over lambda. Also, 1 over lambda is the common factor of the equation. Therefore, y equal to a sine 2 pi over lambda into vt minus x as the equation. Now from this angle now, where V is the wave speed, X is the horizontal displacement of the wave particle. Okay. Now you compare and contrast this equation of the progressive wave, Y is equal to A sine open bracket WT minus 5. Now we have y go with y. Therefore, the amplitude amplitude equal to 
3.4 meter and then angular frequency is 115 take this value equated to this that we have wt that is angular frequency equal to 150t t go with t now angular frequency equal to 150 remember that angular frequency is given as 2 pi f that's 2 pi f equal to 150 now make f the subject of the equation this 2 pi 2 pi f now equal to 75 over pi and then 75 over pi equal to 23.78 x and then the next value you obtain our frequency and then remember that the frequency and period they are inverse of each other now what is the inverse of each other now that means that period equal to 1 over f which is equal to 1 over 2 series 7 8 then equal to 0. Point, equal to 0. 0.042 then 0. 0.042 second now that's value of of period and then the next value is wavelength how are you going to obtain the wavelength and then you can obtain the wavelength from this side that is you take this value now phi that is phi equal to 200 x and then what is phi phi equal to what 2 pi x over lambda equal to 200 x x go with x that's 2 pi over lambda is equal to 200 2 go here 1 that's 100 that pi over phi sorry pi over lambda is equal to 100 therefore lambda now is equal to pi over 100 what is pi pi is 3.142 over 100 which is equal to what 0 0.03142 meter that's pi um angular sorry wavelength now to get the wave speed and then record the equation that that is the third one, D. V equal to lambda F. Where lambda is wavelength, F is the frequency. Therefore, you have V now equal to 0 0.03142 multiplied by the frequency, that's 23.78. Now, when you multiply this value together, it will give you 0 0.7. 5. V now is equal to 0 0.75 meter per second.